Hi one, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we were told by the UDA leadership that if you're looking for chaos, then you have to join ODM. But when you're looking for peace, UDA is that party to join. So generally, uh, if you extend to coalitions, you're talking about Kenya Kanda Kwanza to coalition versus Azimio coalition. So chaos, drama, fighting, Azimio. Peace, Kenya Kwanza. But the opposite is happening. Even when there is no election, there is no campaign. Just time to work for the people. Drama, fighting, disruption, and all things that Ruto was talking about is right now happening in the UDA party. Yesterday, there was an empowerment event organized in Kigomo where three cabinet secretaries attended. And uh, this event turned chaotic. So disruption uh, took place in that event when two members of parliament, Betty Maina, the woman rep, and the Madeira MP arrived in that event. There is a statement that Betty Maina issued which was so disgusting. And this is what she said, that mezoea kutishia watu lakini mimi musinirete upumbavu ama upuzi. That's what she said. That was Betty Maina. If you look at her, you see she is a failure because leaders should learn to listen to the ground and respond with wisdom, sobriety, and decorum. Maina was totally out of order because she caused disturbance and uncomfort, uh, discomfort in this event. Literally, when you listen to her, she appears drunk either with alcohol or power. And these are young leaders from Mount Kenya region. She was literally stopped by the people in that event. There was heckling, there was noise, there was booing, there was rejection of Beth Main, a woman who was singing songs for William Ruto in Mount Kenya region. Supporting William Ruto that we wake up early in the morning and vote for Ruto and she was popular by that time. Today she is so unpopular. And this is how event turned in that function. Security, please do your work. Before then, we were very quiet. Nini? Apana, mimi ni toto kwa poto wa ngati wa MC. Wea ni ondo kesa. Kwa wewe ni nani? Apana, watu wa wili hawezi kuja watu halibie function. Watu wa wili hawezi kuja watu halibie function. Pani wewe umekuja na wawo?
Now, as we conclude this discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as a master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back this discussion. Betty Maina is the same person who was singing Tora, Tora, Tende. And all those praises of William Ruto, let's wake up early in the morning, vote for Ruto. What if she was given an opportunity to sing the same song in this event? I don't know how many people will impress her or will join her in singing that song. I don't see it happening. So the same popular woman at that campaign time is still the same woman who is being rejected by the people. And I don't know how this fight really is happening because we have one woman rep and a member of parliament. <laughs> what is the contest here? I don't see any competing interest. But the public is rejecting these leaders. 
You see, this is a young leader that you think she would serve and serve again and get reelected and also move and grow, grow higher politically, look for bigger positions. But now the ground is rejecting these leaders. It's a confirmation that she is going to be a one-term member of parliament. Most of the UDA leaders who were elected in 2027, they are going to be one-term leaders. If you are a governor, a senator, a woman rep, an MCA, most of them are going to serve for one term and go home. This is the interpretation from all this. The ground is shifting. Rejection is emerging. As you come with your competing interest, you want to show power, you want to show that you know, these are people who elected you. How do you lecture the same people whom you still want them to elect you again? Most of you dear leaders are not showing servantship. They are showing other their bosses. They want to dictate. They don't want to serve us. They want to dictate. And you see how they are ending. They will never see parliament again. They might, might just go home. So if these were people who were preparing for William Ruto, I'm just wondering in 2027 what will happen. The complete opposite is going to happen. The mountain is becoming restless. And you see, if you're talking about chaos, disruption, it is actually happening in Mount Kenya. I don't know where Gashaka will be hiding his face as such videos comes out from Mount Kenya region. There will be no peace in the mountain going forward.